A spectacular volcanic eruption continues in Congo tonight. Lava is shooting a thousand feet into the air and the eruption may last for months. Volcanoes are one of the great spectacles and we wanted to see one up close. So we went mountain climbing on a glacier in Iceland. Iceland has 30 active volcanoes and to get to the summit of one of them, we drove up through the clouds in all-terrain trucks. We made it out of the clouds. Then we walked the last steps to the summit with Haraldur Sigurdsson. Wow. A native Icelander and volcanologist who has studied volcanoes for more than 40 years. Oh, look at that. Incredible. What a sight. Tell me what you're seeing. In big clouds of ash that are moving up, up straight up into the atmosphere at the velocity of a few hundred feet per second. How big are these pieces that we see flying? Some of these are the size of cars. The size of cars? Yeah. And how high are at, they going up? Must be a thousand feet. Oh, at least a thousand feet, but they're still red hot. They're maybe 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is a great place to explain exactly where volcanoes happen on the Earth. The crust of the Earth, of course, is fractured like a broken mirror, and it's fractured into about 15 major plates called tectonic plates. Volcanoes happen all around the edges where the Earth's crust is fractured. And here in Iceland, a major line runs right through the middle of the island, and the two plates are breaking apart. And that's exactly what you see happening behind me. The fine ash lays a blanket over the farms below. They call it ash, but it feels more like sand, and its reach in the air can extend thousands of miles. In 2010, Icelandic ash grounded 10 million air travelers, but Haraldur Sigurdsson told us that's nothing. An eruption in the Pacific back in 1816 put so much ash into the air that it blocked the sunlight, and there was a year without summer in North America. During that summer, there were crop-killing frosts every one of the summer months in New England. There were no crops uh, gathered that year. In New England, because of a volcano in Indonesia? Yeah, exactly on the other side of the world. That's how far-reaching the effects of volcanoes can be. They're truly global. Yep, this is a great job.